Okay, so last time we saw how to draw a quadratic curve which has one control point. A cubic curve has two control points and it's not that much different. And uh, I wanted to show, uh, say again that I'm using the Z code uh, template that I created in the first video. Okay, so to do a cubic curve again, I just change this. It's going to be cubic curve 2D. And again, I'll have to include Control Shift I and NetBeans to include the class library. And then uh, let's change this to C instead of Q. That actually follows the Java tutorial. Now, the only difference here is that I'm going to have two control points. So I'll go ahead and copy these and this will be x2 and y2 for the second point and so then I'm just going to go ahead and copy this put that in there like so oops and then make that a 2 and we're good to go. So this is going to be similar to the last one where we have common endpoints. So let's see what we get here when we run this. So again we have all the lines that are joining the two endpoints but we have two control points now so sometimes they go above and below the line. So you can see there's a variety of these here. Again, I would recommend that you write a little program to uh, iteratively change the value of the control points so you can get an idea of how they affect the shape of the curve. Uh, another good way to look at this would be to use a drawing program where uh, the curves are handles, like in Photoshop. So you can grab the handles and play with the curve. And then it's real easy to see how the uh, point controls the shape of the line. Alright, that's quite a bit now that we've done here. We've got most of the basics done. Uh, 